Welcome to How to Be Hungover in Reykjavik. Welcome to Iceland. It is the last day of our six nights for 600 pound around the ring road of Iceland. So after being stuck in a snowstorm and having to stay put for one whole day, we had to actually bomb it down here to Reykjavik, didn't we? Yeah, I think it was about nine hours of driving. It was super intense, but the reason why we really wanted to get here was because I had planned people. to meet, yeah, we wanted to see people, and I had planned to meet a friend that I had been on a scholarship program with 10 years ago in America. But he's from Iceland, he lives here in Reykjavik, so he's gonna take us out for some dinner. I'm so excited to not cook and we can spend the final pennies of our budget. We both got small plates for things, didn't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. I got tacos, I got this really, really nice aubergine plate. We had some beer and that came to this much each. Now, you may think, Chelsea, why have you got a gravelly voice? My friend refused to not let us go out. <laughs> and basically we went back to his, we drank a lot. We lucked out because I had a friend here. Um, so I appreciate that. That's hard so to replicate. Yeah, if you want to get absolutely blattoed, you have to... You have to really make the use of the happy hours. You yeah. have a lot of happy hours. Be prepared to spend a little bit more. I did film, actually, when we got back in. Do you remember that? No. It's 10 to 5 in the morning. <laughs> have you had a good night? It's a fantastic night. No. I need to go to bed, guys. You need to go to bed. This is just a record for my children um, of the future to say that I'm 29 and I've been out until this time. We stayed at a place called Kex hostel a which hostel. it is but it's so cool it has so much character it is a little bit like an um, industrial feel so if you're after cozy comfy rooms it's probably not going to be the place for you but it's really trendy and the bar is amazing yeah as soon as we like, walked in there was a vibe you know on crystal maze the industrial zone <laughs> it was just like that now for that money we could have actually stayed in a four-star hotel but what? Nowhere just seemed to... Why did we do that? I wanted to stay somewhere that had character and I also wanted to show you a place that you could stay, especially as a solo traveller, for just this much a night. So that's in a shared dormitory. A way to do budget, but still feel like you're staying in a bit of a boutique hotel. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you are so underwhelmed. Yeah. We checked out at 11. We were feeling very sorry for ourselves. So I decided to book us on a free walking tour need someone else to make decisions for us for two hours. Marin, how are you feeling? Thrilled. Tour guide has said that we're off to see a statue and has asked us to guess who it is. Barry, Any guesses? Barry Chuckle. I think it's Lionel Blair. Is it Lionel Blair? This is Ingeborg uh, Arnarsson, the first person to discover Iceland. we would have just sat in a coffee shop not speaking to each other so it was better to learn stuff and not speaking to each other as we walk and find a coffee shop you might actually be asking have we seen the northern lights yet have we tried to see them the answer is no New we have tried but the weather has been really not great as you may have seen from our previous videos you need to have a clear sky it to be dark and they're to be activity, don't you, to see them. Yeah. And there's been two of those things a couple of nights, but there has not been a clear sky. So we're not gonna see it. it just gives us an excuse to come back. 
another time. Of the £600 budget at this stage, this is how much we've got left. Wow. But we've got a few costs to put into that. What's the damage? 4,000. Okay. And that's the fuel done. Can you give me some facts? Yes. Built by an architect called John out of Lollipop. I thought you were going to actually give me some real facts this time. It's the tallest church in Iceland and it was finished in 1986. This place is really cool. It's like a little food court. There's lots of different stores. You can grab what you want. You don't have to eat at the same place. Meet in the tables in the middle and tuck in. Plus, the great thing about it is you can get yourself a pizza, share it with a friend, and it's actually a pretty cheapy for Reykjavik. This is exactly what I needed. And that is it for our trip to Iceland. Six nights for £600 all in. We bloody did it, James. <laughs> It's possible. And do you know what? A lot of people laughed and were like, uh, you're going to have the shittest time. I think as long as you plan ahead, when you're on the ring road itself, I actually think it's a lot easier to yeah, you make do... your own food and do things like that. It's hard in Reykjavik. You couldn't do six nights here, I wouldn't say. If you're interested in coming to Iceland and not wanting to spend all your money, then do check out the rest of the videos because I go through how how we've bloody done it for actually a pretty good price. I'm happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like if you've learned anything new or if you just found it interesting. Uh, click subscribe if you're not already and leave me a little comment. Bye from Bye Iceland. Bye from Iceland. Nature. Nature. No, I didn't do that. Nature. Pound fifty. You look so scary. You look terrible. It's thirteen pounds for some lamb soup. Oh, so scary. So peaceful until. Did you fall?